Hey everyone, welcome back to our series, uh, Speaking Saturdays. I'm glad to have you back here with me. Um, make sure to, um, you know, subscribe if you haven't already, so you don't miss out on future videos. Here we have a brand new question set, so let's get started. The first topic here is films. So let's see, question one, what kind of films do you like? Um, this is like, okay, I I don't necessarily consider myself a cinephile, but um, well, I do enjoy watching movies. And I, I mean, I, you know, normally I just say I love horror movies. Anything that has to do with creepy stuff, the paranormal, ghosts, the occult, that's like my go-to. If I had to select a film out of a list of films, I'd go for the horror movies. But more specifically though, I really like film noir. I, I love um, Italian music realism i love german expressionism i love french new wave as well i think these are like peak kino as they say um because again the films they have their own distinct style they have their visuals they have their storylines where for example new wave can be a bit uh, it can be silly comedic it can also be kind of political it can make you think you know deeply about society and expressionism is super cool i mean it's so exaggerated and that's exactly the kind of stuff that i like but then you also have silent movies which is something else again that i discovered you know when i watched um <laughs> Nosferatu for the first time, I just fell in love with silent film. Why do you like these films? Well, as I was saying, so to kind of, you know, uh, piggyback on that, um, again, I like in terms of like, let's say, let's talk about horror movies. So I've always been interested. I don't know why. I mean, ever since I was a child, in fact, even my mom loves all that stuff. So it's, it kind of became, you know, this, this <laughs> shared hobby of ours. We'd, we'd watch, you know, on the TV, we'd watch horror movies or TV shows. But in terms of the other types of film, as I was saying, I like film noir because, you know, it's all detective work and there's some mystery to it. Um, and like I was saying, expressionism is, you know, the style is so exaggerated. It's so vivid. The storylines are it's not the, your average you know cinema experience um and i you know in general i would call myself a fan of world cinema so i love watching movies in other languages which is kind of also why i you know learn other languages i speak a decent amount of uh, i speak german italian russian a little bit of french as well so that's again you know another kind of um, boost right there but even as a child i enjoyed it i mean some people say that oh i hate looking at subtitles when i'm watching a movie but to me it's not a problem at all did you go to the movies as a child? Um, I did actually, in fact, um, every so, I think until I was maybe 15, 16 or something like that. So my family and I, we'd go every Sunday like clockwork to watch something or the other. It didn't matter what kind of film it was, <laughs> even if it was something that, you know, I later found out was really boring. We just go out and just that, that was our, like, that was like our plan, you know, every Sunday. Uh, and usually it would be like maybe around 6, 5 p.m., 6 p.m., 7 p.m., something like that. So a later show. Of course, I would have school then on Monday, which would mean that we'd come home at like 12 a.m. or 1 a.m. And you know what? My parents are very chill about it. I would have school at 8 a.m. and we'd come home at 1 a.m. So crazy now that I think about it. But um, it was always a fun experience. Even if I didn't like the film particularly, just the experience of going out with family and doing this kind of thing together was always fun. Did you go alone or with friends? Well, naturally, if you mean, like I said, I went with family always. But um, as an adult, uh, I don't really go out to the cinema as much as I used to as a child. In fact, I don't know. I don't like the experience. It's just like there's so many people. You know, why would I not choose to be at home and be comfortable, right? So, But when we do go out, it's usually with my mom. So we've seen a couple movies in the last year. Well, you know, I mean, we really started to go out in 2018 and 19, but then COVID happened. <laughs> we were just starting to... I remember the last movie I uh, watched before COVID was Joker, and I really liked it too. Um, and then we went out, I think maybe like last year, so in September, we watched The Nun my mom hated it <laughs> and then i was really scared too because i'd always imagine you know the, that that nun in my in the corner of my room but no i i never go alone and i don't really enjoy it, it's not something i truly enjoy so i wouldn't like with friends we do other things not going out to the movies okay now we reach part two let's see what we have here 
Okay, describe a recent party that you enjoyed. You should say when it happened, where the party was, whether you met any friends there, and explain why you enjoyed the party. So um, last year in October, we were all um, planning to get together for Halloween, and it, it had been a while. Obviously, you remember that uh, 2020, 2021, even 2022 and three to some extent, they were kind of, you know, clouded because of Corona. So uh, obviously, since 2023, things have been much better, but um, we hadn't really had any kind of a get together in quite some time so naturally people were all very frustrated and i think halloween was the perfect opportunity so one of my friends she has this amazing house and so we all kind of decided that we had like a group of eight people and then of course their friends and you know uh, a few family members actually also showed up it was fun it was just supposed to be a cool get together but some of us really went all out because of course um you know like for example the snacks they were shaped so you of course had like french fries right but not your traditional french fries you had french fries shaped like fingers uh, some of them even had like nail paint on them which was of course ketchup but i loved it i loved you know the ambience because again that's just something you normally growing up you, you'd see that uh, in films in tv shows but you know getting to experience that in real life was a lot of fun so we had like i said you know we had gruesome snacks and we also had um so uh, i am a huge horror movie fan so i recommended that all of us get together and see this really classic horror film Nosferatu um, it's a silent film but the um, you know the um, the whole the whole visual aspect is just so amazing it was perfect because you know we'd, we'd all eaten and we'd all had our you know drinks and everything and then we were like seated in this large room and we had the projector because of course the screen wasn't big enough uh, so we had this projector and we had the whole wall just um playing this re and again the film is 100 years old it's actually 102 years old it was released in 1921 so again because i recommended it now some people didn't really enjoy that because oh it's a silent movie there's nothing going on there except for background music of course but um a lot of people liked it and um you know overall i think it was probably i don't know 2 a.m maybe 2 2 to 30 something like that before we all decided okay let's call it a night because we were really tired uh, and you know unfortunately we had to work the next day so we couldn't really stay back much later but yeah it was a lot of fun i i didn't really meet new people because again it was a very i mean eight people and maybe like we had maybe like i said it was a group of eight people but we had maybe i don't know 14 15 i don't remember it was a while ago maybe we had like 14 15 people but they were all like you know part of our circle so i didn't really meet anyone new there but it was a great um getting getting together type of event. after such a long time it was really good okay let's go on to part three which of course the part take three questions are related as you know okay let's see question one do people party more now than in the past oh um you know if i had been asked this question two years ago that would have been so easy to respond to <laughs> i don't know how things have changed i mean of course before 2020 it was completely normal but i think now people have kind of become i don't know more isolated maybe because obviously 2020 2021 as well people were just confined to their homes and a lot of people realized that hmm, i actually like this this is actually nice this is actually fun and so maybe the whole idea of going somewhere that's loud noisy you know usual party scenes maybe that doesn't appeal to so many people so i would say this is just a hunch i don't know for sure of course but i think people don't really go out don't really party as much as they used to that could of course be uh, there's so many possible reasons right now uh, one reason like i said is people may maybe have realized that hmm, i don't really like this as much some people have even become germaphobes <laughs> and the other thing of course is uh, in many parts of the world you have really bad inflation because of two reasons of course you have you know the pandemic and then you have the war so a lot of economies are affected maybe people are thinking okay well this really isn't the time to you know arrange parties i, I really have to kind of cut down on expenses and stuff like that maybe that's that's probably a reason why how do you feel when you're at a party? I don't really feel anything special. I mean, you know, some people are like, oh, I'm nervous around people, but I'm actually, I can go up to anyone and speak to them. So, but I don't, I don't usually do that because I don't find most people that interesting. I mean, you know, 
<laughs> and that probably sounds very misanthropic, but it's not. It's just that I don't really find a lot of people that have the same interests as me. So, so if I go somewhere and I know someone, of course, I don't really go to places where I'm a stranger. Uh, I don't find that really fun or enjoyable. In general, though, parties are not really my thing. Because, again, I... I'm kind of weird and the like you know again you have somebody else's music playing now what if I don't like the music I mean it would be rude to just say hey can you just turn that song off it's really getting on my nerves <laughs> I'd rather be at home and listening to what I want to watching what I want to eating what I want to um of course amongst close friends that's a different thing entirely but in general not really my thing what can people do to make their parties less noisy? Um, well, you know, one really great and really practical solution is you have these. Um, so if you any any online shopping website could be Amazon, but it could be anywhere else as well. Or you could just go out into a local store. But you find these, I guess they're made of rubber or foam. I'm not sure. I think they actually come in two varieties. So a lot of people will um, they'll pad their doors, especially the main door. And there are windows with this um, insulating foam or insulating rubber sheets or pads. So that's one way, naturally. Um, of course, not everyone prefers, you know, blocking their windows like that. I mean, that kind of treatment can look a bit ugly. <laughs> because again, these rubber pads or foams, they come in like maybe black and blue and red. They're usually used for recording studios and stuff like that. So, um, but other than that, you could just, you know, be respectful of the fact that you really don't need, I don't understand because a lot of people do that. They play music at really, really loud levels. And I mean, it starts to hurt your ear after a while. So I'm just thinking, why would anybody who's not insane you know do that so um i guess the first step is really just to understand and have empathy become a more respectful person <laughs> for some people that's very difficult to do <laughs> but um uh, as i was saying i mean there's practical solutions but overall i think we need to learn respect for other people like i would never imagine playing music at a really loud volume without feeling ashamed of myself because i mean come on where is your you know you're not it's so inconsiderate right would i want that to happen to me i mean somebody might need to sleep somebody might have to study and well it's just i think developing that kind of character which is of course a very long-term kind of thing but yeah or maybe you know you have the police show up at your door maybe you get a fine or something and that that usually sets people straight <laughs> what would you do if the neighbors complained about your noisy party well first of all that's never gonna happen because i'm not that kind of person <laughs> but let's say maybe 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 i do something of the sort in the future i mean i would understand you know i'm not some ridiculous person without any empathy i understand that people don't like loud noises and i'd happily turn the volume down i have no problem man i really don't mind if somebody tells me i'm being loud and i am being loud well, of course that's the natural thing to do right why would i be some people i understand would be upset some people might feel like being confrontational um some people might even double down i know people like that i've uh, well you know in the past i've come across people like that who when you ask them to 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 show understanding and consideration they won't i don't know where that comes from maybe it's a bad upbringing maybe it's just a character defect i don't understand could be anything but um i mean that's like a no-brainer if somebody's complaining then well i mean it's not like see if you live in an apartment complex you must deal with these things now, if you live in your own home um and you don't share walls and again i mean even if you live in your own home again you still have to be careful that you know all the noise doesn't really you know leave your own home because again it uh, it's just i think basic manners really i mean what is there to even discuss right to a normal person anyway so yeah that was our test for today don't forget to tune in because we have lots of videos and uh, not just for speaking by the way for writing as well so tune in and uh, in case you want to you know uh, watch more of these we have a whole playlist there's like dozens of videos in there so go and check it out and i'll see you in the next video bye